Hi guys, so yeah, it's been quite a while since I have filmed. Uh, I've had a lot of exciting things going on in my life, but it's just, there hasn't been time to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but but that's a good thing really. Um, I've got a new job, I'm starting that soon. Um, I've had family staying with me from, obviously I'm in the UK, from Ireland, and, and all that sort of thing. So it has been really good actually. But I have found some time to finally select my 13 products for my next project Pam that I'm going to do, which is finish 13 by Halloween. Um, I've tried to be a little bit savvy in how I've picked products. I've tried to go for items that are going to be very easy to grab as like an everyday makeup kit sort of thing. So that when I am working, I can just keep this in a bag there and just grab it and I know that I've got most things that I need there, which should make life easier as well. So I will just get in there and I will show you the products that I'm using. There is one item that technically it's not a makeup item, it's skincare, so I'll just get that out of the way with first of all. So this is from Code Lee and this is the Glycolic Peel Mask. I think I've used this once um, and it's a 25 ml size, so I'm going to get, I reckon, another three, maybe four uses at least. It still feels fairly heavy. So that is that. And then I have got three foundations. I know that sounds a lot, but it's not really. They are all kind of on their way out, and one of them is just a sample size. So first up, this is from Avon, and this is the Ideal Flawless Invisible Coverage Cream to Powder Foundation. And I am the shade, I'm a nude, the shade nude. And that is how much of that that I have got left. And then I have the 17 On The Spot Foundation in Fair. Um, and I have marked the packaging with nail polish. I think I'm about here. So, and then lastly, this is a sample size of the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. And this is in Meet Me Latte. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be like too dark for me. Um, on the back of my hand, it's not. But I do have some of the Body Shop's foundation lightning drops that I can use with this to make that work. Then moving on from Makeup Forever, let's let, knock that all down. This is the High Definition Powder. Um, I have actually used this since I marked this and it's gone down a bit. But as you can see, that is where I'm at. I've just marked the line there and I've put a little arrow to remind me which way to hold the pot. So that is that. I'm actually a lot used more than I thought I had. Then another makeup for every product, there's a few of them here actually, is the, and I have I forgot to mark this, I'll have to do that. This is the Makeup Forever Fist and Mix. No. Nope. Mist and Fix water. Um I don't know if you can see, I'm about there on the pack on the bottle. So obviously I'll go ahead and mark that to see my progress. And then, oh, so I'm kneeling and now my leg, legs have gone, excuse me. <laughs> um, next up, I have, right, I'll move up again in a minute because now I'm too short. From This is from Clinique and this is what the Blushing Blush Powder. This is like really old packaging, as you can see. I've used this a fair bit. There is the start of a dip inside of it. Um, I just want to hit, I'm not going to finish this in 10 weeks. I worked out roughly how much that is. But I would just like to hit pan on that. Um, I'll do a swatch for you. And that is what swatch looks like on the finger swatch. And that is it on the back of my hand. So it's just, it's a very rosy, it's called Sunset Glow. And to me it's almost like a bronzing blusher hybrid. And um, I have that on now. So next up, um... This is another product from Makeup Forever, and this is the Artist Plexi Gloss, and this is just a free meal size, and this was in last year's Sephora Give Me Some Lip, sort of the Christmas time box. Um, I have no idea what shade this is, if I'm honest with you. Um, if anybody knows and can tell me for reference, that would be great. 
and I'll just do a little swatch of that. As you can see, it's very sort of a peachy nude and I just intend to wear this sort of in the middle over the top of the lipstick that I'm trying to finish up just to give it a little bit more of an interesting dimension because I'm getting bored of it. <laughs> this is a product that I had in my last project pan and this is the Burberry Kisses Hydrating Lip Colour in the shade Sepia. So that is where I'm at with that and that's just like a pinky sort of nudie brown but I have to say I am getting quite bored of using that so but I want to finish it up. I said I was going to do it so. Um, next up then this is from Jelly Pong Pong and this is the two in one eyeliner and shadow. And this is a very nice sort of plum shade so moving into sort of autumn time this will be great. Um, I'm not sure if I will finish that completely but I will give it a good go. And then that I have from Rimmel, this is the brow this way. Um, this is like a sort of brow mascara type product. Uh, that's what the wand looks like. This is the medium brown shade. I've had this for quite a while. I just want to get it finished up because I, I seem to hoard brow products. I kind of start one and then think, oh, I want to try this one. And I just need to start finishing some of them up. And then lastly, this is another carryover product from a previous project pan, but it is still going so strong. This is such a great mascara, actually. And this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So that is my 13 items that I shall be attempting to pan, sort of finish up before the for the 31st of October, obviously Halloween. Um, I have marked my progress for the items that I can here, so it's gonna be good I'd to, so I can keep track along the way. So if you're doing this project as, project as well, do let me know in the comments below and leave me a link to your videos, Instagram, blog, whatever, and I will follow your progress as well. Talk to you later, bye.